Hey YouTube, this is Couch. Hey Couch, this is YouTube. Uh, welcome to another video with Drew Bro. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my suite of bearings that I have uh, printed and tested. Uh, so they are all fully functional and I just wanted to share them so you guys know if you need a bearing, this is the place to get one. I just want to start off by saying right when you print your bearing, this is probably the best, most important thing to do is take the center ring, take the outer ring, and of course use two hands and try to spin it because the moment it's warm is the moment that if it's stuck even a little bit to the center ring and outer ring, it will come apart. And I mean, even if you didn't do it right when you printed it, uh, pro tip, use a hair dryer or a heat gun and uh, you know, warm up your plastic. Uh, I use PLA mostly. Warm up your plastic and hey, it will do it again. And also another tip, if you have a bearing that maybe the tolerances aren't perfect and it spins kind of lousy and you can hear like there's a little spot over there like speed bumps, yeah, doot, 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 doot. Uh, heat it up and then spin it a couple times while it's still warm, like a little roughly. And it will loosen up because it will melt into place where it needs to be. So that's just the tips for bearings, for 3D printed bearings anyways. All right, so this is the progression of my design starting from uh, previous versions that I don't have here because they suck. And then this is the functional one that started it all and from there to there. And this one's about there, but I'll put it here because it looks better. Yeah, these two, because they have the tire on there. And let me just show you how they all spin. This is that version four bearing. As you can see, it spins very nicely and it's easy to hold. This I used for a couple designs like the version one and two of the printable cars and for the guinea pig wheelchair. I really like it. I like this part right here. It looks like a gear. It's great. Uh, going on to the next one. This is the perfect bearing for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. If you go any smaller, it might be a bit hard, but with this size, it works great. So it spins great freely. You could probably, if you loosen it up a little bit more, probably even better. This is the next version. I just reinforced the walls a little bit. It spins just as good. Uh, and this one I actually made just today. Uh, this is a twice as thick bearing. So basically even more pads in there. However, it still works. And it actually seems to me like this one would take even more weight. So that's great. And uh, this is a little side project I had for uh, the printable toy cars. This basically you can print the rim with with this bearing right there uh, inside of it and uh, it actually spins just as great and you can use it on your toy cars so this is actually a separate file in a different room I made two versions uh, and you can basically print the tire in flexible filament put it onto the rim and then you'd have uh, a bit of a rubber I guess feel on there because uh, on hard floors it's really hard to get it to spin. Like on carpet, it goes no problem. But if you have a hard floor, it doesn't have that grip. And this is just, again, another side project I had. Uh, it's a spinning hamster wheel. So if anybody has a hamster, go ahead. Fully printable. And this is 35% uh, scale. So the, big, the original one is actually a lot bigger. There you guys have it. Hope you guys like it. Free download Thingiverse. Have a great day.